Yo, what's going on guys? It's Dodgy. Um, today's video, before this video begins, I just want to say that I'm selling this exact preset on my PayHip account for $1.99 only. If you don't want to type in all the numbers, which probably takes the longest, you can just buy this preset and then put it over your clip and then just drag the keyframes where I tell you to in the video. And that way you don't have to waste time typing in each number because each number is like not an even number. So it's going to take a bit to type in. So yeah, just go check it out. Link in the description. I'll also be happy to answer any questions on Twitter at DodgerFave. My response time is usually very fast. And if you don't have this application Twixer and you don't know how to get it, just DM me as well. And if you're struggling using this preset, if you buy it, DM me too. It's just going to be a short tutorial on a really smooth time remapping technique. And it's not going to be using the default time remapping in Premiere Pro, but rather this application called Twixer, which is very, very smooth, much smoother than the default um, time remapping and this can be used on Sony Vegas After Effects and Premiere Pro so you can use them on all three and you can just copy the tutorial I'm doing here to use them on the other sites and I'm just going to get straight forward into the point right now and show you how to do this so let's begin. The first thing you're going to want to do is type in Twixter in the search bar so I'm in my search bar type in Twixter that's how you spell it and just take the normal Twixter like this and there's Twixer Pro and these ones, but you don't use them. So take the normal one, drag it on to your clip like this, and you should have it in your clip. And then once you have it in your clip, you're gonna wanna scroll down and you should see Twixer here. I have this as a preset because I made it a preset. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is go to speed and click this little clock right here. And once you click that, you turn on your keyframes, right? So once you click that, you wanna go to your kill that you kill the guy and make sure your um, audio is synced if you want it to sound really good. So you go to your kill. This is where the kill begins right here. But what I do with my Twixer is I go a little bit after the kill, like right here before you see the damage. So you can like pick where you want to do that. And then what you're going to want to do is click this dot right here. So as you can see, I already have my clicked. And when you click the dot, a keyframe should appear. And then you're just gonna to wanna to go here and type in 255. And then you're gonna to wanna to go one, two, three, four frames over to your right. Click another dot, all right? You wanna click the other dot and then change this to 15. Then you're gonna to wanna to go one, two, three, four, five, six frames over to the right after that and put down another keyframe and make this for 40, so. All right, so after you have these keyframes, go back to your one that you put 255 on and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. So you want to go 23 keyframes over and place another keyframe for 30, as you can see I already have it, so 30 right there. And then go left, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Place another keyframe for 55, and then go one to your left. Place the keyframe for 175, and then go one, two, three, four, five again to your left, and place the keyframe for 100. So after you do these seven dots, just make sure that your display for Twixer is on Twixer output, and this is the default, so it should already be on that. You're likely not going to remember the exact numbers that I did, so just save this video or bookmark it or whatever, put it somewhere where you can go back to it. And every time you want to put a slow motion effect in the kill, just click this video and watch this tutorial. I'm making this as short as possible just so you can do it pretty quickly because I know that some people take a lot of time for this. So, and if you do watch this video enough, you can probably memorize it so you don't have to come back. Other than that, I hope this boosts your montages and makes them look really clean because this is a very smooth effect. And other than that, peace out.